right, starting five live with the, this breaking news on the frenzied mob that lynched uh, a police officer in J uh, Kashmir. In fact, uh, National Conference leader Junaid Mattu has hit out at nearby Umar Farooq. He has uh, tweeted, and I quote, 90% of these goons in Nohata are drug addicts and bloody deviants led by inarguably the biggest coward Kashmir has ever given birth to. All right, strong words coming in there, uh, and rightly so, from Junaid Mattu of the National Conference. Junaid Mattu is now joining me live, in fact, uh, on the phone line, on the broadcast. Uh, Mr. Mattu, uh, there are no words to, in fact, express the anger that a lot of people across the country are feeling of what has happened yesterday. You have, you have used very strong words, and I believe rightly so, for me, wise Umar Farooq. Don't you think his security should be immediately withdrawn? His privileges should be withdrawn by the government. Absolutely. I have said that in my personal capacity. The party hasn't uh, taken a... because this has just happened. Uh, I think, you know, we are all protected persons. I have security. If, if in, in, in order to secure me, my security personnel have to face my followers who are completely out of their mind and who are lynch mob specialists, then I have no rights to security. And the saddest part is that Mirwai says that this happened at 11.30 and I came and delivered a sermon at 12. How could he deliver a sermon from the pulpit of a mosque in, which, in, in whose courtyard uh, a man was lynched to death? So, you see, I have always said Mirwai is a coward of the first order. Uh, he has enjoyed cushioning and slush funds from both sides in New Delhi and Islamabad. He's, mm. he's a darling of both sides. I have always said uh, that he has no conviction. He has no ideology. But everybody has a right to have a political ideology, ir irrespective of their character or not. So if he, he doesn't have a character, he still has a right to have a political ideology. But the fact of the matter is that this problem in Nauhata has become an epidemic now. You know, if, if, we, if, if we go back into the past, yes. Sayyid Ali Shah Gilani, who is a Hurriyat leader, once went to Nauhata to offer praise. Even he was attacked. He's a Hurriyat leader, right? Shabir Shah was attacked by Mirwais' followers in downtown his face was smeared with blacking. So the level of intolerance and insanity they have against even leaders who are in Hurriyat conference in itself is alarming. You know, Mr. And, Matu, you know, we, we, you know, I just wanted to ask you, what is this business of this Republic of Mirwais Umar Farooq? I mean, he can stand there, as you rightly pointed out, after a man was so brutally lynched by his supporters, by his own men, and come out, give out these sermons when people were shouting slogans in favor of a terrorist, Zakir Musa, talking about lashkar e -Taiba, and it took him 12 hours to even come out with a tweet, a hollow condemnation of this entire act. I'll tell you what was happening for 12 hours, because it was sharp, we were all away, we were all asking each other what the hell has happened. For 12 hours, unofficially, he was telling people that I don't even know his name, how do I know he was a security guy? How, how do I know he was a part of my security? So the coward, 12 hours, when the pressure was mounted, when, 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 when the police perhaps started contemplating that we are not going to protect this guy. He came out with this, you know, statement. Again, not a very unequivocal statement. He based that on something else that, you know, we can't become like this fighting the state. I have spoken up against state atrocities more than anybody else. I have opposed New Delhi more than anybody else. And I have people have called me a Pakistani. They've called me a jihadi for that. I don't care. My, courage, my conviction is this. I call a spade a spade. And the fact of the matter that this happened in Jamia Masjid is not an aberration, it is the norm. He leads a pack of deviant drug addicts in that mosque who, who, who have received his political patronage and that needs to end. Period. No Mr. Matu, as that. a Kashmiri, I'm asking you, you are a Kashmiri, isn't this time for a crackdown on this man who you call is a man who is leading a pack of deviant drug addicts? He's the man who comes on social, who in fact uh, gives some sort of a, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, he uh, comes out, gives a social and religious sanction to stone pelting, to, uh, to uh, militancy uh, in name of religion, in name of uh, Kashmir, to mob violence. And this is what we are seeing. Isn't this time for a crackdown and to end this Republic of Mir by Zumar Farooq? You know, there is nothing like a pope in our religion. Uh, his great, his, his great grand uncle, uh, you know, when Kashmiris were fi fighting against tyranny and they were fi fighting against despotism, against the Dogra regime, 
he used to be on a stipend of that regime. It, w- it used to be called a wazifa. So when we were fighting against the Maharaja for his brutality, his ancestors were on their stipend. Every human life is priceless. I went to this DSP's home with my colleague, Mr. Nasir Samwani, and it was so... It, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. It's completely heartbreaking. I, I'm at a loss of words. There are no words which can express this barbarism. Absolutely. It's, it's, it, my heart goes out to the family. This man who was there uh, protecting not only the mosque but also Mir Vais Umar Farooq, a Kashmiri whose house was just in that same vicinity, killed so brutally. These people cannot, cannot even call themselves Kashmiris by the act that what they have uh, done. Thank you so much, Junaid Mattu, uh, for your strong, strong opinion about uh, this. This is time for Mir Vais Umar Farooq and uh, his uh, goons, in fact, to be brought to book. Well. A political blame game has, uh, in fact, started on the death of a brave police officer. Listen in to what uh, we are getting from both sides of the political divide. But just worker, just then, in case Sabur Ka Paimana Labrez Hoga, to I mean, our police is one of the best police force in the country. They are showing maximum respect because they feel they are dealing with their own people. But how long? Kab tak aise chalega? Abhi kuch din pehle aise jo, uski sarvash police wale, kal ye DSP ko, ye to koi apni kam se nahi gaya tha. He was there to protect the lives of people. Apna apna kam karne ke liye, apna fariz anjam dene ke liye gaya tha. From day one, been saying that this government is uh, the most uh, uh, important government, uh, and that it should uh, that Mahbubullah will never take action against any militants uh, with uh, with a full gusto. Uh, but uh, my party has been holding that the balance of advantages is to continue with this government. I can understand, but in individual capacity, will you demand a president's rule at least? I, I, I have been demanding for the last uh, two years <laughs> only this. I, I think that, the, but the governor also must uh, file a report. Absolutely barbaric, a cowardly act, a brutal act, and we strongly condemn it. Use the one instrument which your predecessor, your leader, your Guru Vajpayee Ji used, which is dialogue. Dialogue to find a political solution to a political problem. But they don't want to, they want some kind of a muscular policy. And who is being destroyed in that so-called muscular policy? Who is gaining? Pakistan is gaining. Well, dialogue on its uh, own time, but uh, this cannot be a time for dialogue. Uh, I'm being joined by R.P. Singh of the BJP and also Inam Ul Nabi, who is joining us uh, from our Srinagar uh, uh, Bureau. In fact, uh, we are also being joined by my colleague Shuja Ul Haq. Uh, let me just very first quickly uh, go to Inam. As a Kashmiri, aren't you ashamed of what has happened in Jamia Mosque? Mirwai Zumar Farooq came after this lynching. It took him 12 hours. To even issue a hollow condemnation from a man who is used to inciting mobs, what would you have to say about that? No doubt, it is highly condemnable uh, uh, situation there, and the, the the circumstances which leads to the death of uh, police officer at itself is a controversial and suspicious. Um, how it is possible that uh, how it is possible that a rank of DSP uh, is roaming without security uh, that in a volatile area and that too in a dark night? So it, it, it perhaps we can say it, it you know, is a, you know, either it is I, a conspiracy I, 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 my, my intention was to let you speak breach. to let you speak and make your it point. But why I'm coming in between breach, yes. why I'm coming in between is no matter what the what the controversy was no matter what the lapses were we will take the, the those questions to the jammu and kashmir police why was this man without security but how can you even justify this on any account whether he was with security without security he was there he was a police officer he was also entrusted with the security of so that I'm mosque how can you even bring out any justification for that
सर आई एम नॉट जस्टिफाइंग एंड दिस यू कैन नॉट जस्टिफाई दिस इंसिडेंट आई टर्म इट इट हाईली कंडमनेबल एंड इन ह्यूमन एक्ट बट साइमल्टेनियसली आई एम अर्जिंग द अथॉरिटीज टू इन्वेस्टिगेट द मैटर हाउ द सीनियर ऑफिसर वॉज मीरवाइज Telling me that it, it is just, at that I mosque, was just, I where was just listening the statement of the uh, Junaid Muttu, who is a spokesperson of. Uh, <coughs> no, sir. I I will tell you with Mirwais. There were many security personnel inside with a senior police officer. Had this been the intention of the Mirwais, they would have been attacked them inside Jamia Masjid. R P Singh. There were many. R P Singh. Isn't this the time when people like Mirbai Zubair Farooq, their security should completely be withdrawn by the had, government? Had been, Why should they enjoy those privileges? Well, Ankit, before I start, I mean, uh, he has nothing uh, to do with this incident, and he has condemned this act. <coughs> he has tweeted. He has made the statement. He has condemned this act. For 12 hours, if he had anything to say, part of the national conference. If he had How anything to say, he should have said it I'm right sure when he was giving a sermon. I am ashamed well. to even say that Mirwai Zuma Farooq, who calls himself a cleric, was giving a sermon just after half an hour. People lynched no, somebody in that same courtyard. How? Let Let Mr. R P Singh speak now. Mr. R P Singh, isn't this time that Mi the Mirwai Zuma Farooq and the likes should be stripped of all security? Why should we even spend? a single rupee why should we let our men die for their security i'm 100% with you on this and i'll appreciate the state government should immediately take action and see what has to be done on this because this is a law and order state issue and everything has no more right Nabi to saab, speak on this Nabi issue saab, when you spoke Nabi saab, when you spoke aap musliman hai aap musliman hai aap musliman hai r p singh you don't have any right to speak <coughs> You don't have sir, any more right to speak on this sir, issue. Sir, Inam, you know, you have no civility. We have seen, we have seen the barbaric uncivility. Yesterday night, at least in the studio, let's have a civil debate. Or if you feel like you feel like it's okay, but you don't have to. I'll ask my producers to can can I can I just get the audio or can I just get the audio of Inam down, please? R P Singh, make your point quickly. Go ahead. It's very clear. I mean, till yesterday, they used to talk Kashmiriyat. And then, then they from there they started talking about Islam, Islam, and they started talking about that we we are talking about Islamism. Um, but is it Islamic? What they have done is is it Islamic? Is it in the holy month killing their own person, killing their own brother? Neither is Kashmir, neither is part of Islam. Which Islam Absolutely. teaches them? Absolutely. Only only this, one Islam teaches them. This can't them, be. This can't. Syria, and no religion teaches Syria. things like this. Shujaa, I wanted to come to you quickly and ask you this. there of course are lapses as far as the state police's version is concerned there are questions that are being raised on why was a senior officer of a deputy superintendent rank there without any security what was he doing there and also through the night the police could not identify that there was a man of their own who was lynched so brutally and what is it that they are doing now well yes uh, uh, you know ankit there are many questions that uh, you know are, are, it, it's it's simple that they would arise from this entire incident uh, like the first and foremost question is why was he alone i mean he is after all a, a, a dsp rank officer uh, was he a, if it, if there was a protocol of uh, okay. him being sent to security duty uh, is it a protocol to you know for someone like him to go alone in a place like that also uh, why wasn't there uh, you know the 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 rest of the security we know yesterday uh, most of the at most of the places uh, the police had decided to pull out its men uh, you know uh, thinking that that would perhaps lead uh, to for towards less a uh, confrontation with uh, you know protesters or less clashes would take place but even after that such an incident had taken place why wasn't there adequate security put in place all those questions yes definitely they there there those questions with the police department will have to ask in fact we already have put those questions to them okay. and it seen that uh, they really don't have answers to it i have But to a take a very quick part. break shuja i'm coming back to you i have to take a very quick break i will come back and i will once again go back to iman i have quick question with uh, him and also to mr rp singh a uh, quick break at this moment uh, the question also is people were shouting 
Lashkar Etoyeba, Zakir Musa, the man who wants to change the narrative of the entire Kashmir problem by making it a caliphate. We'll ask uh, Iman if whether they condemn this or are they on uh, with this uh, with the supporters of terrorism as well. Like, and there is uh, anger. There is a lot of angry reactions that we are getting on the way what has happened uh, at a mosque during Ramadan in uh, Kashmir. Uh, uh, let me just quickly go back to my guests on the show. Iman ul Nabi is uh, joining us from Srinagar, also RP Singh. Iman, you know, let me ask you this question. When at a gathering where Mirwais is supposed to give a sermon, people are chanting slogans in favor of Lashkar Atoyba. They are saying they are chanting in slogans in favor of uh, Zakir Musa, a man who said this is not a political problem. It's no longer about freedom of Kashmir. This is to make Kashmir an Islamic caliphate. How can Mirwais tolerate these things? How can you tolerate these things? Please correct. Please correct my name. My name is Inam, not Imam. You can call me by Inam. Right, Inam. And as far as your question is, uh, your question is concerned, uh, I have told many times on television uh, shows. Uh, yes, between the Zakir Musa's religious ideology and our ideology of seeking political resolution, political resolution, one thing is very clear that we want the resolution of this issue. One thing is very common. No, no. So if they, you are, it, so, if, if so you have you are problem saying, with you are uh, saying, Islamic although, caliphate so or it is anything common, else, that is why then you must concentrate on the political uh, solution. Sp uh, so and and the and the supporters of. Uh, Mirwais will continue chanting slogans in favor I of Zakir common Musa. Common is their resolution of issue. By any means, make it Islamic caliphate. You don't care. You're talking about a political issue, I isn't it? One thing is common between the political and religious ideology. That is resolution of Kashmir issue. Iman, before yes, I, I go to, I said before I go to RP Singh, my last question to you. Uh, religious ideology <coughs> that is uh, unnecessary. It becomes resolution of Kashmir issue. Unnecessary. It becomes resolution of Kashmir a issue. to and fro. Let RP me ask Singh you last question. RP Singh don't have any right to speak on issue because they have started. I will decide Singh who has the right or to speak they on my channel. You right. will not decide who has the right to speak on my channel. As you have been invited, he has also been invited. Please keep no, your. No, he don't have Please keep right. your opinion to, about RP Singh and yeah, what whether is right to yourself. Last Please question to you. Him, Last question. They, they have been, they have been lynching Iman, Muslims around right the now, country. Right now, you are, there is nothing else that you should be reminded of but about what has happened last and night. And honest comes on them. Last they, question they, they, they to you to before I go to, to R.P. Singh. Because are, are you ashamed? Are you ashamed as a Kashmiri of what has happened yesterday? Would you call all those who lynched the DSP a Kashmiri? Tweet of Mr. Amar Farooq, we said. I am deeply disturbed and condemned the brutal uh, I told act you first, we cannot, we, we cannot. Can those people be called Kashmiris? Those who lynched a man, no, those who are, are from their Muslims. own neighborhood. They are not even follow, follow the Islam. Leave that uh, Kashmiris, they are not even follow the Islam. But what sort of Islam are they talking about? And, and, and Arpi Singh, you know, my question to you as well is, you are also a partner in the state government. What is happening? Why the state government has, you know, allowed the situation to become so grave? Why can't you now take a decisive action? There is an MP from BJP, Subramaniam Swami, who is calling for governor's rule in uh, Jammu and Kashmir. Well, for everything. Well, they for are that, for, for every that, killing. Quickly, RP Singh, I have to take a break. For, quickly. For, for that, Mr. Uh, Subramaniam Swami will speak. But whether, whether as far as the party will take man, call or the government need to take a call on this, not us. But as a, as a now, there's a government which is in running, but I want to say something. Quickly. Mr. Meir Weiss has tweeted saying that uh, he says all his mercy and blessing is night place. Said, I mean, he talking about Islam. I mean, I mean, is this Islamic? No, 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 no. Uh, let's not even is talk about Meir Weiss or Farooq. Whatever Weiss he lead. says, whatever Weiss he tweets to do with is it. absolutely hollow. It has no meaning. He's a man who is the master of this mob. He's the man who has instigated this mob not once. But many times, after every Friday sermon, it is he who sends these youth out to stone pell, to put stones, uh, you know, to take up stones, to throw stones on Indian soldiers. Let's not even talk about Mirwai Zumar Farooq. He's a man who should now be booked. Thank you so much, uh, both gentlemen, for speaking to us here on uh, India Today.